Neil, every superintendent I spoke with is proud of the opportunities available for students. However, they have some concerns about where tax dollars go using school vouchers. Every tax dollar should be accountable in the state of Texas. East Texas superintendents all say one thing. It comes down to accountability. They want accountability. They want it to be fair. They want it to be equitable across the board. Uh, if taxpayer money is going to be spent on it. Senate Bill 8 would create a program to let parents use state funds to pay for private schools. It's not about school choice. Really about these vouchers are part is about you know, helping wealthy families pay, pay tuition for private school. After passing the Senate more than a month ago, it moved to the House for a committee hearing, where it has faced intense scrutiny. If money were to go to private individual, private schools, uh, there needs to be accountability with that as well. Opponents say the bill vouchers are unnecessary because parents already have options. Where they're given those, uh, those choices are, there are already so many more choices. So it's just not a conservative principle. It makes no sense. Uh, and I just believe that the uh, Texans will, will be upset if this passes. And other East Texas superintendents agree. I believe we created a really good system in our school district here in Mineola ISD for parents to choose from. Lawmakers are also considering Senate Bill 9, which limits how many families can get a cash incentive to move their children from a public to a private school. Having a voucher-like program for possible special education students and possibly students who are in F-Felling school districts. However, Governor Greg Abbott is threatening to veto SB 9 and call a special session if the full voucher program isn't passed. East Texas districts are watching school voucher bills closely. There are less than two weeks left in this legislative session. In studio, Avery Klanowski, KUTK News.